what's up guys we're gonna just jump right into it how bomb is this wig yes new wig who this i know i know but anyways guys i'm gonna show you how to get this look from beginning to end i did my entire face on camera face lips everything i showed you how i created this lip combo i even showed you how i cut and style this wig go hey booze what's up it's your girl jasmine akia coming to you guys with something super different today y'all know i'm going through a thing right y'all know i'm going through a thing right i am turning 27 in less than a month and almost every year around this time I am going through a midlife crisis. Like in, in my real life, I'm going through a midlife crisis. So I was like, I'm so sick of the 30 inches jet black long because I am kind of getting older. So I'm kind of over like all the crazy colors. That's right at this moment. So I went online and I like searched all these girls, all these wigs. I was typing in like curly wigs, curly lace wigs. And I do have, I want some. Afrocentric, Shaka Khan, gold member, Beyonce type curls, you know, like fro, like, like a fro, but a curl, you know? So I did my research and I went online and I seen a lot of girls with this wig right here. Now, let me tell you, first of all, I'll show you the wig. It looks like this. Jojo quick weave style Jojo color one quick weave cap. That's all it says. Um, I got it off and I got this wig off Amazon because the two girls, my Snapchat is going crazy. If you are not following me on Snapchat, you don't even do yourself that dis disjustice. Follow my Snapchat. It is lit, especially because my birthday is coming up. I'm always going over beauty products. I'm always giving you guys the real. So, follow my Snapchat. I will link that right here. Right here, right here, right here. I am Jasmine Nakia. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money. My birthday's coming up. I'm probably going to have, like, you know, long wavy hair for that. Yeah, I've seen a lot of beautiful brownies killing it in the curly wigs. I wish I thought of their names, but I can't because I looked at so different, so many of them. Um, so, yeah, guys, I am in love with this wig. I originally, the girl that I saw with the wig um got it from sam's beauty it took like i ordered it thursday i got it monday so it only took like three or four days it was still very quick with shipping um i love it it's so fun it's so big it's so shaka khan and i'm here for it it is exactly what i wanted it's so soft and i did kind of show you guys how i um cut it Originally, I wanted to kind of cover my forehead, but I've never wore my hair like that. So it looked crazy. Like I felt like the hair was, I have a small face, I have a small head. So I felt like the hair was really overtaking my face. So I moved it. Now, this girl has a deep side part, but I only wear my hair in the bed. I didn't pluck it. I really didn't do anything because I just felt like that wasn't necessary. I'm not wearing it straight. I'm not wearing it, you know, flat where I need it to be precise. So I'm kind of just living for like this big, messy, fun look. You know? so it took about four days to get here. Um, it was pretty affordable of Sam Beauty. Sam'sBeauty.com. Now, I could be petty. You might call me petty, but I'm not petty. I ordered a wig off Sam's Beauty maybe three and a half years ago. This was before I was, you know, who I am. But I ordered a wig off of Sam's Beauty maybe like three or four weeks ago. I never received it. After about two weeks, I messaged them and was like, where's my wig? And they were like, they like totally were like dismissing me. Like they wouldn't answer my emails. They wouldn't answer my calls. Like they were super rude. I had to like file a claim with PayPal to get my money back. And it was literally like a $40 wig. So personally, if the company hasn't reached out to me and apologized for my bad experience or showed some kind of concern, a discount, something, I'm not shopping there. And I know that was four years ago and I know I only asked for a $40 purchase, but I don't care. I'm not giving you my money if I had a bad experience and you never attempted to make it right. Other girls are shouting out Sam's Beauty and that's good. I'm glad somebody is getting their products, but I didn't. 
and since I didn't, and since they didn't apologize, and since I never received 10, 15, 20% off for my inconvenience, I had to actually file a dispute claim with PayPal to get my money back, it's a no. So, hey booze, that was enough rambling on for me, you, and everybody else. So let's just get right into it. I am prepping my face with the Dr. Brent Pores No More and the Smashbox Primer Water. These are literally my holy grail products. Like when I tell you it makes my skin look so smooth, it photographs well, it's literally freaking amazing. I already have nice and full lips, but I like this Too Faced Lip Injection um, Lip Plumper because it just makes my lips stay full in pictures and it kind of gives me that extra pout. Again, I already have full lips, but I have seen people who don't have full lips and it works just as good. Um, now I'm going in with the RCMA No Color Powder. I love this stuff right now, guys. It is literally freaking amazing. Um, so yeah, and then I also put a little bit of Becca Mattifying Primer around my mouth and in my like right above my nose area. That's where um, I get oily in photos. That's what the RCMA powder looks like. Be careful, guys. They do have a no color powder, a translucent powder, and like a setting powder. They have like three different setting powders, but the no color powder is absolutely amazing. I told you guys that um, my foundation looks a little bit gray or like too cool on camera. So I just warm my skin up with the orange corrector from LA Pro Conceal. Um, and I feel like it really works because I'm not, this, this foundation is like $50. I'm not going to buy a new one without using this one first. And I really, really, really like the finish of this one. So that's why I am using this one. And then when I go repurchase my Lancome, I will make sure I purchase warm instead of cool. I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer Matte. And I actually went in with the Makeup Forever HD Concealer, not the MAC one. I've been watching Jackie Aina and she talks a lot about letting her highlight sit on her face, basically letting your highlight bake before you blend it out. And I love her videos, guys. I feel like they're very informational. I feel like when I watch her makeup tutorials, they're actually teaching me things. Sometimes you watch makeup tutorials and it's just entertainment. It's not actually teaching you things. So I've really been watching her and I really have tried this new technique of letting my um, concealer bake before I blend it out. Now, the reason I did not use that MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is because that stuff, once it sets, it sets. Once it dries, it's no blending it out. So if you're going to do that, do not use the MAC Pro Longwear because that stuff is just like once it gets there, it is not blending out. It will take forever and then you'll be freaking wiping off your entire face wondering what is going on. So I blended out that concealer. I blended out my contour first. Now I'm setting my face with the RCMA No Color Powder. I freaking love this stuff, guys. It works so bomb. It works bomb on everybody, too. Me, you, the lightest, the darkest, everybody is freaking amazing. Going in with the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder. I love, love, love this powder. It's amazing. Um, and the Marc Jacobs Angle Brush. I've tried the MAC Angle Brush. The Marc Jacobs one is better. I think they're pretty comparable in price though. So, you know, get you whatever one you want. And I'm just going in and I'm warming up my face with it. Um, I really, really, really like the like not too dark contour powder. Like not too dark, like just dark enough to give you that definition, but not like black chalk on your face. So I never really do my brows on camera. And it's mainly just because um, I feel like there are like a thousand and a half million, billion, trillion eyebrow tutorials and like my eyebrow tutorials nothing special because majority of this is my real eyebrow I feel like the eyebrow tutorials that are like interesting are the ones of girls who like don't really have a lot of eyebrow so since I do I find it kind of boring that's why I never post it same thing with like makeup personally if i watch somebody and they have like flawless skin and they're just like flawless i mean it's cool and all like their makeup is usually slay but it's really just like not that interesting to me and i'm not meaning that to be offensive or saying you know i have bad skin so my makeup's way better or anything like that you know everybody's highly offended lately i'm just telling you the people that i watch and the people that i love 
um, usually are interesting and you know have some kind of acne they're covering don't have a lot of brows they're creating they're using three four different products I watch a lot of drag queens I love drag queens I love drag makeup I love heavy makeup I don't like natural makeup I don't like that that's not entertaining to me makeup is fun it's creative it's you know expressive so if it's boring to me I don't like it now that's not for everybody Go ahead, do what you want. Go ahead, wash who you want. Go ahead, do your makeup how you want. Personally, Jasmine Nakia is just saying. That was just my disclaimer for me. We here? Okay, we here. Okay, boos. Now that we've got that rumbling, rambling section on, I'm going in with the State on Straight Primer. I believe it's by Benefit. I freaking love this stuff. It blends out amazing. I couldn't find the highlight brow highlight that I usually use, so I just actually used the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow, which is actually like a highlighter. I just used it on my brow bone. It wasn't picking up that well. I think it was the brush, though. Now I'm just going in with a MAC shade. I want to say it's like brown script or something. My brush had a little bit of like old brown product on it, though, so I think that's why I ended up dark. I'm taking that um, IFX cream by Ambosha Cosmetics with a duo fiber MAC brush because I didn't want a cut crease, but I also did not want the color, um, like, I don't even know how to say it. I didn't want the color to be too precise. I wanted it to look very diffused and very blended, but I also wanted it to still pop. And since I was using these ColourPop shadows and I know that they only work the best on your finger and I have stiletto nails, oh my God, look look at that color yes that's me freaking out but anyways um so yeah guys that is why i just slightly took up that white base just slightly and that's why i used a brush with this base instead of like um like a fluffy brush. this is kind of the problem that i had with the color pop shadows last time i have nails and they say you need to apply it with um they say that you need to apply it with your finger, but that's kind of impossible with my nails. So I'm actually going to take a synthetic. So guys, as you see, I had to end up taking a synthetic brush by MAC um, because I just could not get it with these nails and I'm packing that on. Um, Morphe has a dupe for this brush and I absolutely hate it. So if I were you guys, I would stick with the MAC one. Typically Morphe's brushes are freaking bomb, but not that, not the, not the dupe for that brush. That is MAC. That is a MAC shadow. Freaking love it. It's amazing. And I'm just going in and blending out the shot, you know, like the top of my shadow. So it's nice. That blue is very similar to the one that I'm using by ColourPop. Um, I just needed something to use to blend out. Now I am going out with the same matte color. I did use Fascinating by MAC Ico, which is the white eyeliner in my base. And then I'm going with the MAC Extended Play Mascara and building up my bottom lashes. When you do white eyeliner, you need to make sure your bottom lashes are popping, especially if you're a darker complexion or else you will look crazy. And now I'm going in with Jazz Lashes, of course, available for purchase very, very, very soon. Oh my God, look at my lashes. Ain't they so pretty? Yes. Now I'm going in with the Saharan Blush Palette, Volume 1. This is bomb if you're a deeper complexion. Um, I use the shade, I don't even remember off the top of my head, but it's the very pink ones. Um, I did Chestnut, Myth, and Taupe. And then I paired it with the Kim Kardashian lipstick. Oh, y'all, we got to talk about Kim Kardashian. Ooh, honey, did y'all see her getting dragged on the internet? Did y'all see her getting dragged on the internet, honey? I don't know if it was the chalky swatches. Her having black babies and taking up with Jeffree Star, honey. I don't know, but they were dragging, dragging her. But anyways, back to the video. I literally, uh, my head has been hurting from too much braiding. So I've just been like taking my real hair out and like doing my real thing with my real hair. I threw the wig on. I kind of taped my hair down. Oh my God, look how pretty this wig is. Seriously, just, just throwing it on my head. Look how pretty it is. Like, oh my God. So I'm going in and I'm trimming a little bit of it because originally in my head, I was going to just wear like a bang, like a curly type fro bang, but it was like taking over my whole face and it was not a good look and I looked crazy. So right now I'm thinning it out around my face and I'm making it look a lot more realistic around my face only. 
towards the end of the video when I seen that this whole like curly bang thing wasn't gonna work, I found where the actual parting in the wig was and then I separated right there and put it in the middle of my head. And then I am fluffing it up because you don't want, especially if it's a synthetic wig, you don't want it to look like extra shiny and extra synthetic-y. You want it to look natural. So plucking it out and making it big will do that. And this is the finished look, guys. Thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Thumbs up if you liked me rambling on a little bit more. Subscribe to my channel. Follow all my social media hacks. I have coupon codes down below and details on my makeup class. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time. Mwah.